Hello, my name is Rudy Verpalen and this is the first tutorial uh, for the VL Wizard software. The VL Wizard software is a software specially designed to work with the VL70 module. Um, this tutorial will give you a basic explanation on how to connect the module with the VL Wizard software. So let's go for it. I um, hope I'm not going too fast. So I'm going to try to explain it as slow as possible. Let's start the application. So that's one thing. Voilà. So this is the VL Wizard uh, main control center. We will not go into all the details of all the other functions. Let's now first open the settings. And here you see MIDI in and here you see MIDI out. Okay. For MIDI in there's a little button here if you click that it will refresh and scan all your MIDI ports and same thing here if you press this button it will scan all your MIDI out ports the MIDI in ports are by default displayed while the MIDI out ports are not all displayed this is because you have uh, different configuration possibilities now in order to switch on a MIDI port uh, you need to click on it uh, click again and then you can set it on, off or true. Okay. And same thing here. In order to assign a MIDI out port to uh, uh, the out channel of uh, MIDI IDVL wizard, simply click on this and you can then select here a port. Okay. Now, before we do that, I want to make a little drawing. I'm not a Picasso. But uh, I hope uh, this little drawing will make things more clear for you. Um, the first thing we have is, of course, we have our VL70 module. So this is the VL70M module. This has three MIDI connectors at the end, at the back. It has a MIDI in, a MIDI out, and a MIDI through. Then Typically, you should have a MIDI interface. A MIDI interface has as well a lot of connectors. You have MIDI interfaces for, with, uh, one, uh, for one device, for two devices, for four, for eight. There are many d different types on the market. If you want advice on which type of MIDI interface, just uh, send me a little email. The MIDI interface has as well an in and an out. Okay. And a MIDI interface is then hooked up to your computer. So your computer can be either a Mac or a Windows. Right. The connection can be an USB connection, a Thunderbolt, a FireWire and any other type of connections. Now, the important thing is here that the out jacket from the VL70 is then properly uh, hooked up with the in of the MIDI interface. So let's make that connection. Voilà. Same thing, the out from the MIDI interface should be connected correctly to the in of the VL70. Voilà. That's the second wire you need to have. The true connection here, the connector of the VL70, you don't need to use. Mm. Now here on this computer, we have the VL Wizard uh, software running. Now this interface in my case it's a motu interface of the type 828x now we're gonna go back to the uh, computer here and on the vl visit we will show how to connect here here to the vl70 so here we are back to the vl wizard here you see this one which is actually this cable we switch that on come on on voila 
and then we have here the out so it's actually again the cable that talks to the out voilà. so this one is data being sent here through the MIDI interface then goes on the out connector of the MIDI interface and goes to the in of the VL70 while this one is actually the out of your VL70 going to the in of your MIDI interface and goes into the VL Wizard software okay so here on the VL70 uh, we typically have a wind controller uh, hooked up the type of wind controller is typically uh, a VX uh, wind controller okay so let me make a little drawing of a wind controller voila so this is the VX which is connected to the front panel of your VL70 some uh, users uh, have uh, an e uh, EVI so but I will explain later on how to hook up uh, an EVI okay so let's now assume you have a VX the VX talks into the VL70 and if you have that you should always keep this to on never switch this to true not okay and uh, not good the reason why is because otherwise the data will travel back in, uh, into the VL70 and you will have an, a never ending signal loop causing the VL70 to uh, hang okay so if you have your VX hooked up uh, here straight to your VL70 keep this to on okay now we have all ports set here on and this one as well so I'm gonna see now if the connection works simply click check and you see on the VL70 that my name uh, appeared and you see here VL70 giving an answer back so check first uh, the send my name to the screen of the VL70 and then the VL70 is responding back with VL70M as a name so these are the first things that we did set up the other thing we're gonna verify is the uh, library I have my uh, f a library fo a folder pointing to a backup library so but normally you should have something like VL voices and that's it okay so but I leave this on that now we close the settings I open the voice browser and here we see the different libraries okay I'm gonna take one for example let's take this one I press enter one two up and there it is as you see it's maybe one second and it's loaded the reason why this is loading fast is because these settings are set to zero if you would put that to 50 and then try to load again a voice you will see that it takes a little bit longer see so it's uh, more or less double okay so the reason why these settings are available is because some MIDI interfaces have difficulties absorbing or passing through the large amount of data there are about uh, 1808 bytes that are transferred from the computer to the VL70 so that's quite a lot okay uh, that's the reason why I've included here the option to put some delays uh, between it okay now we're gonna check if the communication works so I'm gonna play the VX and the data the MIDI data will travel from the VL module out into the MIDI, uh, MIDI interface and so in the computer so this is what you're gonna see here everything I do on the VX will be displayed here let's go for it <laughs> see 
seems to work well. So uh, I think that's it for uh, this tutorial. Um, there will be more tutorials coming, so follow this channel. If you have ideas or suggestions, uh, then feel free to email me and I will uh, do my best to uh, create some new videos. Okay, bye.